It's Talman with Dear Talman, we have a question in today from Penny. Hello. My name is Penny Sherwood. I have a problem with traffic. I just can't seem to get the traffic that I need. I'm an advocate for the disabled and I'm trying to spread awareness and educate the community and get them to come together so we can get provide services that's needed and go to work and contribute to the world like any other normal person. And this is what I'm trying to do with the little links and the click banks and the AdSense and it's just not working. So my question to you is, is there anything that you could do to help me or give me a suggestion of some kind? Thank you. This is Penny. Penny, you have trouble with traffic. And like most people on the internet, it's the one thing that will make your business succeed or fail. Traffic is by far the most sought after uh, resource available on the internet and obviously targeted traffic is, is a key thing here. Now, I wasn't able to go look at your website because you didn't give me any website URLs in your video unfortunately. Um, so I'm kind of flying blind. You said that you're helping disabled people, which is good. So here's the basic thing, right? Um, this is an idea that I learned um, not too long ago from a coach of mine named Dan Sullivan, and who runs the Strategic Coach. And Dan posed the question during my last meeting. He said, um, "You know, as an entrepreneur, you need to decide who you're going to be a hero to. You need to decide who you're going to be a hero to. And there's there's a key factor here, Penny, which is." If you're a hero to someone who has no money, you're going to have a hard time running a successful business. If you're a hero to someone who has a lot of money, they will give you money to help you be a hero to them. So the first question you need to ask yourself is, are you being a hero to someone with money or not money, <laughs> right? And if it's someone without money, then I wouldn't plan on running a tremendously lucrative business as a result. You're going to be swimming upstream. You're going to be fighting potentially a losing battle. On the other hand, if you're serving someone or a group of people with money, then you can focus on helping them and in exchange for them help, you helping them, they give you money so that you can enable them to do what they want to do more effectively. Secondly, no matter what you're doing, whether it has something to do with people who are disabled or not disabled or with money or without money, whatever it is, you've got to make sure that all the traffic that you're driving is going straight to a squeeze page. Now you mentioned ClickBank and links and, and I was very unclear about what process you're following. But the main thing is, this is something that my good friend Joe Polish has said, is, is um, how does it go? He says, the best way to help the poor is by not being one of them. And it's absolutely true. You, if you have no resources to help people who don't have money, then you're going to have a very hard time helping yourself. And if you can't take care of your own basic needs, then you're gonna have a very hard time helping other people. So step one is you need to learn how to make some money. You need to learn how to be a hero to someone who has money and will pay you to help them and focus all of your attention and everything that you're doing with your traffic efforts on building a list. So number one, drive to a squeeze page. You've probably heard the term before and if you haven't, you're going to because I'm gonna give you a copy of my $497 course list pros just for asking a great video question. So that first thing you mentioned about not being able to afford any of the courses, I'm going to give you the opportunity to right now. Number two is if you don't have a job and you don't have cash flow, you need to go get a job and get some cash flow so that you can afford to invest in your own education. But if you don't invest in your education, you will never improve your results. It's simply not going to happen in my experience. Invest in your education, stabilize your own income. Here's the best course I can possibly give you to get you focused on this building. And I, I leave you with the question, who are you going to be a hero to, Penny? Who are you going to be a hero to? This is Tom with Dear Tellman saying, ask a video question below, get a video answer. All right, Penny, talk to you later. Have a great day. Toodaloo.